Sterizer. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Sterizer. our picture slideshow update of the river. In today's episode, we are staring at Tuso when he was killing Angelina. Tuso killed Angelina and he ran outside with the baby to his car while Angelina was dying on the floor. And moving to Bangizwe's boys and the doctor, they started beating him up, asking him to tell the truth when they were asking him to give them what they want. When he was busy asking them if they want money or if this issue is about hospital or the patient, he told them to let them speak like me man they put him on a chair and show him the picture on the cell phone asking him if he knows who's on the picture he told them that it's lindy with lamini so they asked him about the shopper's baby he told them that he told lindy and the shopper family that the baby was born with a heart problem that her heart cannot pump the blood Ndumiso and the other guy told the doctor to stop fooling around and they started beating him again he told them that because he's a doctor it doesn't mean that he knows everything he works with symptoms and they started beating him again telling him that they are showing him what are the symptoms while he was begging them not to kill him going to Mukwena's family the Mukwena's were all quiet when they were having tea when Rahadi started the conversation telling them that the Mukwena family has been through a lot and they overcome a lot and that's the Mukwena strength she told them that even in this situation they will overcome Tuso will be back home Dimpo told Rahadi that the 24 hours has passed already they need to accept it morena got angry at dimpo asking her what to accept because the only thing that he will accept is that his father is coming back with his little brother alive because it's impossible for angelina to kill his father dimpo asked morena if she said that morena and dimpo started arguing up until rahadi stopped them and told them that tuso will come back home with tato she told them both not to lose hope dimpo kept saying angelina is hurt she stole a woman's child and passed him on as hers if she killed Paulina why wouldn't she kill Tuso all family kept quiet and moving back to Lindywe's home Lindywe was telling the rest of the family that Kwezi said they've met with a US doctor the tests were done now they are waiting for the result so that they can schedule the surgery Flora asked madam if she's saying that this tiny body will be cut open Lindywe ignored Flora's question and say she should have gone with them and Veronica was blaming this time difference thing as a problem just because they can't get hold of each other and Andile asked his mother what did the cardiologist said will Zano be cured Lindy were told Andile that she didn't get those details because the medical team called Kwezi while they were still in the middle of the conversation they asked each other if this thing was done before while Veronica was asking if this procedure was successful before to other the patients and he told veronica to calm down because americans they are professionals when veronica said that she doesn't want her grandchild to be a sacrifice and she told andy to stop telling her about americans because they don't know what they are doing and they asked lindy if she's calling crazy lindy told them that she's calling bangizwe and she can't get hold of him and dumiso's phone is going through voicemail as well bonolo was pouring juice for mom zoto when mom zoto was screaming when she saw her grandson coming back with Tuso. Everybody got excited when they saw Tuso coming back with little Tato. When Mam Zoto asking when last did he eat because he's all skin and bones. Rahadi told Mam Zoto to bath him. She'll make him some food. Rahadi and Zoto went to another room with Tato. When Tipo asked her brother why he didn't say anything because they were all worried. Everybody asked Tuso if he's okay. Tuso was quiet and they started asking him about the blood on his jersey they asked him who's blood on him tuso kept telling them that he is fine this will never happen again dimpo was screaming saying that she wished she can get angelina with her hands tuso left them telling them that he's going to take a bath and moving back to bangizwe's house bangizwe's boys were still beating up the doctor telling him to tell the truth when the doctor was asking begging them to give him a chance to talk the doctor told them that the baby had a slight fever he prescribed some meds for the baby and the shopper family
family came up with a plan to get some money out of Lindiwe. They say he should lie about Zanotando's health so they could get money. Dumiso and the other guy asked the doctor how much did the shoppers gave him. The doctor was asking for his life, begging Bangizwe's boys to please not to kill him. When they were busy asking him what did the shoppers promised him, the doctor told them that they say they will give him his potion when they leave the lodge. Dumiso asked what's the name of the lodge. The doctor told them that the shoppers didn't give him the name of the lodge. They pointed the gun at him but he still didn't give them the name of the lodge. And moving back to Mukwena's, Jimpo was telling the family that she wished to know where the blood on Tuso's jersey came from. Maybe Angelina did something to her brother. Bonolo told Dimpo to think about it because Tuso and Tato have got no scars. She told Dimpo to think about where the blood comes from. She asked Dimpo where is Angelina? Why Tuso is not telling them? Bonolo and Dimpo continued with their debate about Angelina and Tuso up until Rahari told them to stop. And going to the shoppers in the hotel, Ganyiso was lying on a couch telling the family that he almost forgot how good life can be. Nomafu told them that they just need an international trip. They need to go overseas on a cruise. Kwezi said she wanted to show Zanotando the world like Zolani and her plan. Bukosi Shope told them she wants to apologize because she didn't want to do this but Fufu did it well. Nomafu told Bukosi Shope that she's the one who make things happen. She played the game well because she's the fool. But she won't lie. Kwezi was the woman of the match like the striker. It's obvious that she's her daughter. Shope said but they have to think hard when they get home where they will get more money and forget about this Lindy. Nomafu told them that maybe they can have the full catering or the full boutique but it must start with a name called the fool as long as it will make money so they can have such getaway. Bangizwe's boys have done beating the doctor. When they were talking about when are they planning to tell Bangizwe, will they go to that lodge and tell them when they come back from the lodge? They say they need to have enough evidence to tell Lindiwe and their father. They say they cannot leave this guy here when they haven't told Lindy about him. They say he's not gonna die. They will give him food and lock him up in the dog's cage. And they will make sure that the shoppers don't find out about him. They said they need to be careful about this. And moving to Tuso Mukwena's house, Tuso was coming out of the bathroom when she saw Angelina coming as a ghost, asking Tuso if he sees what he has done. Tuso got shocked to see that ghost. And going to Lindy's house, Lindy was relaxing on the couch when she saw Bangizwe entering. When she asked Bangizwe what happened to his cell phone, she said she tried calling Ndumiso but nothing. Bangizwe said sorry to Lindiwe. She was so busy at work. She's been meaning to get back to Lindiwe's phone call. Lindiwe told Bangizwe that she's still worried about Zanotando. When they were still talking, Kwezi phoned Lindiwe and Lindiwe asked Kwezi if Zanotando is okay. Kwezi told Lindiwe that they found more abnormalities. It's terrible. It's bad. It's very bad. Kwezi told Lindiwe that it's so bad she doesn't know what to do. Lindiwe told Kwezi that she's coming, she's on the way. Kwezi stopped Lindiwe from coming, telling her that the nurses are calling her. She has to go and she told Lindiwe not to go before she call her back. She just want to hear what the nurses have to say first. And they ended the call and Lindiwe told Bangizwe she doesn't care what Kwezi is saying. She's going to Atlanta. Bangizwe told Lindiwe by the time she go there, they'll be done with the operation. Bangizwe told Lindiwe to wait. It doesn't mean that she have to go there and be a doctor. She have to listen to Kwezi. But if she feels like she can go, Bangizwe told her he can go with her. Lindiwe told Bangizwe that she's feeling like she's letting Zolani down. Bangizwe told her to stop blaming herself for everything. Lindiwe asked Bangizwe what if the baby doesn't make it. Bangizwe told Lindiwe to calm down. The baby will be fine. Going to a corporate at Tuso Mukwena's house. When Rahadi saw Tuso come inside the house she told him to sit down so that she's gonna dish up for him because he must be hungry Tuso told Rahadi that he's fine when Dimpo was asking Tuso if he's gonna tell them where Angelina disappeared to because Tuso too has been missing for over 24 hours Bonolo told Dimpo to stop it Dimpo told Bonolo that she wants to know where that witch went to so that she will never set foot here because she will never live with a killer Rahadi told Dimpo 
Mpo to give Tuso a chance. When they were still talking, Detective Moeti came in. When they were all surprised about Detective Moeti's appearance, the detective spoke to Tuso and telling him that Tuso Mukwena, you are under arrest for murder of Angelina Mtombeni Mukwena. Everybody was surprised and shocked to hear that Tuso killed Angelina and Tuso did not resist the arrest. He went out with the detective. When Ragadi asked the family what's going on, some others were saying it's impossible. Let's see what's gonna happen to Tuso and the rest of the family. Please don't forget to subscribe and like to see what's gonna happen up next on the next episode. Thank you for watching Storiza TV and please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this.